Patrick Heron was a British painter who was born in 1920. He was known for his contributions to both abstract and figurative art. Heron lived in Zenner, Cornwall, where he created his artworks and established himself as one of the leading painters of his generation. Influenced by renowned artists such as Cezanne, Matisse, Braque, and Bonnard, Heron's art was characterized by his exploration and use of color and light. He made significant contributions to the dissemination of modernist ideas through his critical writing and, most importantly, his artwork. Heron's paintings showcased his early figurative work as well as non-figurative pieces that aimed to emphasize the equal importance of all areas within the painting. Throughout his career, Heron's artworks were widely exhibited. While he initially wrote regularly for publications like New Statesman and Arts New York, his writing continued periodically in later years. Patrick Heron's artistic legacy extends beyond his own artwork, as he played a crucial role in promoting modernist ideas and expanding the boundaries of painting. Patrick Heron's early life and career Patrick Heron, born on January 30, 1920, in Headingley, Leeds, Yorkshire, was the eldest child of Thomas Milner Heron and Eulalie Mabel. At the age of five, his family moved to Cornwall, where his father joined Chrysede, a company specializing in artist-design silk prints. In 1929, they moved again to Welwyn Garden City, where his father established Cresta Silks. It was during his teenage years that Patrick began creating fabric designs for the company. He also met his future wife, Delia, while attending school in Welwyn Garden City. Patrick Heron's artistic journey in St. Ives' connection during World War II, Heron registered as a conscientious objector and worked as an agricultural laborer in Cambridgeshire. However, due to ill health, he returned to Cornwall in 1944 and began working at the Leach Pottery in St. Ives. It was during this time that he became acquainted with prominent artists like Barbara Hepworth and Ben Nicholson, who were part of the St. Ives School. Heron's connection with Cornwall grew stronger, and in 1956, he made it his permanent home after purchasing and refurbishing Eagle's Nest, a house he had lived in during his childhood. Patrick Heron's personal life and recognition Patrick Heron married Delia in 1945, and they had two daughters, Catherine and Susanna. In 1977, he was appointed a CBE, Commander of the Order of the British Empire, under Harold Wilson's government. However, Heron declined a knighthood under Margaret Thatcher's government. He continued to live and work in Cornwall until his passing in March 1999, leaving behind a significant artistic legacy. His contributions as an artist and his connection to St. Ives influenced many others, and his talent was recognized both nationally and internationally. In conclusion, Patrick Heron, a versatile and influential British painter, made significant contributions to both abstract and figurative art. His exploration and use of color and light, influenced by renowned artists such as Cezanne, Matisse, Braque, and Bonnard, showcased his unique artistic style. Heron's artworks, exhibited widely throughout his career, pushed the boundaries of painting and emphasized the equal importance of all areas within the artwork. Beyond his own creations, Heron played a crucial role in promoting modernist ideas and expanding the art world's horizons. His artistic legacy, coupled with his connection to St. Ives, influenced many others and earned him national and international recognition.